Hello, my name is John Murkey. I am the co-chair of the ITI Planning Committee and employed by BiLite Professional IT Services, assigned to the Veterans Administration, uh, My Healthy Vet Program. And I'm going to be talking about mobile access to health documents, otherwise known as MHD. So um, this presentation is going to build upon the basics of document sharing. I'm not going to be describing document sharing, so hopefully you've uh, looked at that presentation already. What MHD does is it provides a fire-based method of publishing documents or accessing documents that are within XDS or XCA or, or even just uh, a fire-based uh, environment itself. So what this does is it allows uh, for applications that uh, want to use only the FOIA technology. They don't want to be wrapped up in uh, some of the more difficult technology that XDS is based upon uh, to publish documents um, or that they want to query for documents and retrieve them. Um, one of the other monikers that we use uh, within MHD is XDS on fire, and you'll see in the upcoming slides that there is a uh, specific intent to support MHD as an API to XDS. So some of the details can be found on the wiki page, um, and uh, I'll get into uh, some of that uh, details as well. One of the other things of note is that there is a uh, uh, a U.S. core profile of FHIR available, and within there, there is a uh, uh, profiling of document reference. That uh, work is a subset of MHD. It's only focused on document reference, uh, but it's intended to be a uh, aligned uh, uh, profile with MHD. So there is not a conflict there. There isn't a, uh, a, a difference uh, there. It's just a, a subset for the purposes of inclusion within US Core. So um, MHD, one of the first profiles that we started to use this word mobile. Uh, mobile does not mean it is only usable by mobile applications, although you'll see that is generally the way that we diagram it, because for the most part uh, today, the difference in use case uh, between a mobile uh, profile and its uh, equivalent is predominantly uh, because of the same characteristics. And uh, that is uh, the need to have uh, lower technology um, or utilize off-the-shelf uh, RESTful API tooling uh, to utilize JSON instead of more complex XML. Um, so we use the moniker mobile predominantly to indicate that it's uh, looking to hit that kind of a technology um, uh, with uh, that uh, potentially easier to use technology. It's not to indicate that this particular profile or, or any mobile profile cannot be used by clouds or heavy iron or anything. Indeed, it certainly could. Um, so mobile does not mean it's exclusive only to mobile devices. So MHD, as in an API to XDS or XDS on fire, uh, takes the XDS um, actor diagram, which is the center of this, where you see XDS uh, indicated, and it adds uh, the circled pieces. So on the left-hand side is publication. It says, hey, a medical device or some mobile uh, device may want to uh, publish documents. They would be an MHD document source, a source of documents. Uh, they would be sending that to an MHD document recipient. In this case, that document recipient is grouped with an 
XDS document source and, and thus triggers the XDS publication transactions. On the consumption side, over on the right, you would have some kind of an MHD document consumer. Um, it is talking to an MHD document responder. In this case, since we're XDS on fire, uh, that document responder uh, is, is grouped with an XDS document consumer and therefore um, any of the queries or retrieve transactions in the MHD world get converted um, by some software uh, into various uh, queries and retrieves. So it's a, it's a matter of saying, hey, how can we create a, an API uh, to an XDS environment that uses Fire? Rather similarly, um, MHD can also be an API to a cross-community access environment. Again, it's basically just the right-hand side here since so XDA is only community-based. And uh, the document responder in this case is grouped with an XCA initiating gateway. And through you know, good design, uh, can convert the MHD queries into XCA queries and responses. So MHD has some support profiles, just like uh, uh, in, in, in an XDS environment or an XCA environment, there's some support profiles. Um, these are uh, available with, uh, you know, the fire equivalent. So PDQM, uh, Patient Demographics Query for Mobile, or PIXM, uh, Patient Identity Cross-Reference for Mobile. Again, some patient lookup uh, kinds of support, but using fire. And again, those have some use case equivalents in the PDQ land and the PIX land. There's an IUA instead of XUA because in uh, the FHIR environment, generally you use OAuth instead of SAML. So IUA uh, takes the same requirements that drove XUA, uh, so creating a bunch of attributes to carry purposes of use, organization of the requester, role of the requester, and puts those into the, uh, the JWT in well-known places. Um, IUA is a complementary complement to Smart on Fire. Um, it doesn't uh, doesn't replace Smart on Fire, nor is it replaced by Smart on Fire. They're rather complementary, since Smart on Fire uh, puts together more the token uh, requirements and the scope requirements. ATNA, uh, Audit Trail and Node Authentication, you know, does provide some uh, network uh, security, um, but it also has a FHIR-based audit uh, environment, so it uses the FHIR audit event. And then there's some provider uh, uh, profiles as well. The MCSD uh, provides a uh, uh, provider uh, directory, which includes organizations, health services, and locations. So, going back to MHD, uh, the first thing that MHD supports is publication. So, a, a mobile application that needs to publish uh, one or more documents uh, would use this transaction to publish into an XDS uh, environment if the recipient um, is, as shown earlier, grouped with uh, an XDS document source. Uh, this transaction can also be used just simply to do a RESTful push. So um, where no one is connected to an XDS or an XCA environment, I just have a document source that knows that it needs to push a set of documents uh, to a document recipient using FHIR, and it's just simply a push. Um, what does the transaction look like? Well, the transaction is a bundle uh, of a create transaction. Um, it includes one document manifest. The document manifest describes why is this transaction happening. Um, you know, who is the patient, uh, why, are, why is this uh, uh, 
happening. Again, uh, building off of the the exact same uh, model in a submission set in XDS. So the document manifest is equivalent of submission set in XDS. Then there's uh, you know one or more document references, uh, which are the metadata that describe the documents. There is one or more binaries, which are the actual bits of the document. Um, there can be a list resource, which would be an equivalent of a folder. And, you know, uh, sometimes you could uh, potentially include the patient resource within there, but that's kind of an exception, um, uh, predominantly for things like push. So, again, going back to the XDS environment, document source wants to publish a document, it could create this transaction and send it off to the document recipient. In the case of the document recipient being grouped with a XDS environment, it would convert this bundle with document manifest document reference into a XDS provide and register transaction with a submission set with document uh, entries um, and, and the documents themselves. So it's functional equivalent there, even though there is a, a different uh, encoding, uh, they are all functionally equivalent. The far more um, used environment is the query transaction. And in this case, we're, uh, the MHD predominantly just simply uses normal fire-based queries. So it's a query against the document reference or a query against the document manifest resource. Um, in the case of MHD, the patient uh, parameter is required. Um, the uh, recipient of the, the query is, uh, in, is allowed in, in the case of MHD to just simply say no uh, when the patient parameter isn't uh, provided. Um, you know, then there's other query parameters, class code, practice setting, you know, time frames, you know, various other uh, query parameters. Each of the query parameters that are uh, identified within MHD have a functional equivalent within the um, uh, ITI 18 find documents uh, query. So there is a mapping, um, you know, when a, a document reference queries class code, there's a way to map that into a find documents class code. And similar for document manifests. There is, of course, a third transaction on the side, and that is to retrieve the document itself. The uh, results of a document reference query are document references. In the document reference is a URL. That format of that URL uh, is completely up to the document responder, um, and uh, it could be a, a normal binary uh, URL, or it could be to uh, to some other format. Because the document consumer can only simply do a GET request on that, uh, given the security uh, wrapper. So that entails the equivalent of the document consumer functionality uh, using MHD. So here's an eye chart. Um, uh, because this is a FHIR-based uh, profile, there are, of course, uh, FHIR-based conformance resources. So there is an implementation guide, which is mostly pointing over to the IHC. Uh, site, but there's also some code systems and there's some value sets for format codes. Uh, there are some capability statements for each of the actors within this profile, and there's various structure definitions uh, to uh, describe the various parts uh, of the transaction. So, um, in this case, um, you have a, a document manifest and a list. And then you have various document references, all, end, all ending up with a provide document bundle um, uh, 
so there is a, a structured definition of that bundle um, that holds a manifest, one or more uh, document references, and potentially a list. All of that can be found on the wiki page, so you don't need to try to remember all of this. Um, all of this is also published uh, on the FIRE uh, registry uh, using Simplifier. So you should be able to find these in various ways. Um, IHE is uh, absolutely participating with FIRE's uh, implementation guide registry and structure definition registry. And that concludes the MHD uh, presentation. I hope you found the information you needed and uh, now know how to find out more about MHD. Thank you.